Bedlam 2.0 is a large-scale synthetic video dataset of animated bodies in simulated clothing, designed to train and test algorithms on the task of 3D human pose and shape estimation, or HPS for short. With more than 8 million images, it is a significant expansion of the popular Bedlam dataset that increases pose and body shape variation and adds shoes and strand-based hair. Most importantly, it introduces a wide range of realistic cameras and camera motions. We demonstrate that training HPS methods on Bedlam 2 results in improved accuracy relative to Bedlam, particularly for methods that estimate humans in world coordinates. Bedlam was the first synthetic dataset with sufficient realism and diversity that state-of-the-art HPS methods could be trained using it without any real image data. Since its publication, several other datasets have been proposed, some of which build on Bedlam's 3D assets. Sinbody is similar to Bedlam but has lower visual realism and no camera motion. Pace adds complex camera motions but does not contain sufficient data for training HPS methods. Egogen builds on Bedlam to create a synthetic dataset from an egocentric camera. It contains naturalistic camera motions captured from the ego motion of an avatar moving through a 3D world. WAC is like Sinbody in terms of realism, but adds sequences of two people interacting as well as camera motions. HumanVid also builds on Bedlam, but adds rule-based camera motions. Their sequences contain single people in motion as well as anime characters. Bedlam 2 goes beyond these datasets to expand Bedlam in every way and introduces a wide variety of camera motions and focal lengths. We use different types of dolly shots with optional focal length changes. We use orbit shots and can add Perlin noise camera shake to all shot types. We use panning shots together with HDRI scenes since they do not induce parallax. We use a wide variety of tracking and following shots. We also use real camera motions, captured with handheld phone and tablet devices. To help with proper shot framing, we show a real-time view of a 3D scene stimulus on the capture device screen. For egocentric camera motions, we use an Apple Vision Pro mixed reality headset for in-the-wild data capture. This produces natural camera motions as the person explores a 3D scene containing rendered people. We use the gender-neutral Simple X body model and then add realistic 3D clothing outfits, widely varied strand-based hair, and diverse shoes. We then animate the model and simulated clothing and render with accurate motion blur. To put diverse bodies in motion using sampled motions from a mass and other datasets, we need to retarget these motions to the new body shapes. Simply applying the joint rotations to a new body shape produces animations which do not make proper foot-ground contact. We use Unreal Engine IK Retargeter to do the retargeting, resulting in improved contact. Adaptation to different body shapes increases the diversity of motions and is critical to train methods to accurately estimate body shape. We use complex motions which we sample from a mass and the Moyo dataset. We add hand motions from Arctic to motions from a mass, providing a wide range of natural hand poses. Bedlam contained a limited set of card-based hairstyles, and not all bodies received hair. Also, we were not allowed to release the hair assets. To address these limitations, we hired a professional VFX studio to create 40 strand-based hair grooms derived from 20 distinct hairstyles. These high-quality hair assets are made available for research purposes. Shoes are important to model because we don't contact the ground with our bare feet, but through our shoes. The sole of the shoe displaces our body from the ground, making us look taller. HPS methods that don't understand shoes will get both human height and human motion wrong. To add shoes, 
we sample 182 shoes from the Google Scanned Objects database. We smooth out the toes to create a stocking foot mesh. We then scale and align the shoes to the neutral foot shape, allowing us to transfer the shoe texture, normals, and displacement maps to the simple X mesh. We translate the body so that the sole of the shoe contacts the ground. We can then dress people in a wide variety of shoes. Dressing people of all sizes in the appropriate clothing is important for realism and for estimating body shape underclothing. We hired a 3D clothing designer to grade 50 garments into 10 sizes. Here an example of randomized body shape and clothing variations used in our dataset. Even though Bedlam 2 is a video dataset, it can also be used to train single image methods. Here we train camera HMR, a recent state-of-the-art method, using Bedlam and Bedlam 2 and report per vertex error. The inclusion of more diverse camera poses and varying focal lengths in the Bedlam 2 dataset improves accuracy on multiple real-world benchmarks. Additionally, incorporating poses from the Moyo dataset contributes to better performance on challenging yoga poses. Bedlam 2 is designed with a focus on training video-based methods. We evaluated two recent state-of-the-art methods, Prompt HMR and GVHMR. We compare models trained on Bedlam 1 alone versus Bedlam 1 and Bedlam 2 combined. Results for Prompt HMR are shown here. Left shows the input video. Middle shows the Prompt HMR trained with Bedlam 1 only. And right column shows the Prompt HMR trained with Bedlam 1 and two combined. The Bedlam 1 and 2 model estimates more challenging poses with smoother results, while the Bedlam 1 only model confuses the dancer's legs and exhibits jitter. In this example, Prompt HMR trained with Bedlam 1 and 2 more accurately recovers the gymnast's leg positioning. It also better infers spatial relationships between subjects, avoiding the collision issues seen in the Bedlam 1 only model. Here, the Bedlam 1 and 2 model more reliably estimates poses of the occluded subject. Similarly to the prompt HMR results, GVHMR trained on Bedlam 1 and 2 better recovers the gymnast's leg pose. Synthetic data is a key ingredient for training accurate methods for human pose and shape estimation. It has several advantages over real imagery. It's 100% accurate, there are no privacy concerns, and we can generate as much as we like. We make the assets needed to generate new data from Bedlam 2 available for research where possible and provide links to assets that we don't own. While we've focused on HPS, Bedlam 2 can support many other applications, such as the estimation of non-rigid structure from motion, 3D point tracking, depth estimation, and segmentation, to name a few. Thank you for watching.